Well, that's a nightmare and a half. Priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. <laughs> I agree. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. Well, now we're in Colombia. And I agree with you, Booker. That priest needs to learn the difference between a baptizing and a freaking drowning. So, oh, oh, here. Banana health. Don't mind if I do, because I really took some damage from that baptizing. Surprised it'd kill me. And here we are, folks. Colombia. You gotta admit, guys, for its time, the graphics were stunning. And I heard the PC version was simply fantastic for its time. Okay, I know you're thinking it's better now than it was back then, but you gotta remember, guys, this was three years ago. Or probably four, depending when this video comes out. Good to see you. But in any case, let's um, start um, exploring them, um, Colombia. Right. Now I know this is not going to be a fun, you know, segment, but you know, keep in mind this is just the beginning, and like all Bioshock games, they too take a bit of time to get started. So just waiting for this to come down. Yep. Now I can have a look in here. What do you got? Boot shining. Oh, a fox recording. And then Comstock. The Archangel Show Division. A city. Lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, Archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, Prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? Um, okay. Quite an odd, um... Now, look at this, guys. Keep in mind, right? I know this is fantasy, but... This is the 1912s. And they've already got mechanical horses. Right. Ooh, great. Vision of a great city. Prophet Kansa led his people out of the sun and below. Mergul child is born. The future of the city is secured. Yeah, yeah, come on. Move along so we can get going. Yeah. Somehow I'm not 100% convinced about that. But we'll get to more of that a little bit later. We got in here nothing. Nothing in here. Ooh, there's another area which we'll explore in a bit. Right. Ah. Okay, guys. It's time for a little history lesson. Now, these things, as you can see, are kendoscopes. Now, back in those days, kendoscopes were used, you know, to play movies back in them days because there was no such thing as television, nor, um, you know, actual proper um, like TVs we got today. You would normally pay a quarter or a dime, depends how much it cost back then, look in the viewing glass and you would watch the film or a show, whatever it is. Normally they would last about probably, <coughs> oh excuse me, um, a couple of minutes. Now these things in the game, they are both important and they're not. On one hand they're important because they show a lot more of the backstory, what goes on, how things got to this plot point. On the other hand they're not, they're optional, so we're going to have a look at them since this is my let's play and we want to see everything that's going on. Let's have a look. Beware the false shepherd. Who is the false shepherd? Nope. <laughs> he 
Yeah, it is me. I got a feeling it's gonna be me. Come on. Lamb from the Full Shepherd. Somehow I'm not convinced. But yeah, guys, these things are, you know, like pretty much window to the backstory of certain things. <clears throat> Who is this girl? Well, hopefully we'll find out soon, Booker. But in any case, let's keep looking around. Oh, two box. Oh, another box and phone. Comstock again. One man goes into the waters of baptism. A different man comes out. Born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. Hmm. An interesting um, point there. Ah, a barbershop quartet. You don't see them that often these days. But back then, though, they were like the popular thing back in them days. So you are going to get a lot of cultural and, um, you know, historical reference in this game. Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Yep. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Mm -hmm. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Right. Telegrams. Yeah, that's the way they were them, guys. You know, the whole thing was talk, stop, talk, stop, talk, stop. It, it is weird, I know. It's not like our meal today. But that's how telegrams work. Right. You just saw me pick up some salt. Because the salt, guys, is used day, to power up. Hello. The plasmas in this game, but they're not called plasmas. They're called vigors. Now vigors are a little different to plasmas. Is that they don't need, you know, the blue pla plasma stuff. They need salt. Yep, there's a few of the plasmas going off. Now, this area, guys, is pretty much a training mission area where you can train on the souls, guns, and various things, and win prizes. But, we won't be doing that because I've already, you know, been through here. <clears throat> now, you could, you know, do it, you know, to get some more silvers. Use the high strike. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> could do a real quick laugh. Bingo! Well, you're quite a strong one, Mrs. DeWitt. So, yeah. Skyline, huh? Well, that's the thing we'll be seeing a lot of. Ah, Handyman. Now, I always figured the Handymen are like, you know, the prototype of the Big Daddies. You know, before they were refined. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be living like that, though. No thanks. Any to a vending one of those. Mm -hmm. Here's the first salt we're gonna get, guys. Mm. Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit of X-File mayhem there. Possession. Press to turn machines into allies. Now, what the hell was that? Yeah. Now, I'm gonna be honest, guys. This is one of my part of my gripes of the game. They've just handed you one, if not the most powerful vigors in the game, literally. And a lot of people might think, you know, the lightning or the fire is going to be powerful. It isn't, guys. This is the most powerful. And you're going to see why very soon. But I always felt like this one should have been, you know, the last power. Given what you could do is. First, a spy ticket. And I'll explain Sorry, the reason. Pal. The raffle is all sold out. 
Oh, yeah. Let's change that, shall we? Oh, hello, you two. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Oh, tails. Let's flip the coin. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Jesus. Heads kick the kick the tails ass all the time. Ah. Vending machine. Excellent. Now, as you can see, guys. You can buy your health packs, but they won't be, you know, permanent. They will disappear after, you know, as soon as you buy them. So, unfortunately, they go as, you know, you buy or, you know, collect. So, there won't be any, like, save stocking like I usually do, you know, like, stock up on them for potential big battles. Not in this game. In this game, I'll be fighting by the seat of my pants. But, yeah, back to what I was saying about this vigor that I'm using, the, um position it is the most powerful in the game guys because once you upgrade to level two it just literally just dominates okay it's the most you know energy using one but what but you can literally turn the battle on its head you can literally turn a battle on its head with this power this little beauty ah, the whole division got them we're gonna flush the box out of the skyline system we gotta have the best ah the Vox. Now they're going to become an important part later, but not right now. But I wouldn't mind having that grappling hook he's got. That's kind of cool. Ooh. Okay, what's this? Madame Lutess, I have read all your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. Yeah. Now, I'm going to be brutal honest here, guys. During this time period, women were not very, you know, respectable, respected, sorry, in the field of science. Nor were they, you know, classed as like top rate citizens back in them days. It was mostly a male dominated, you know, society as you can see here, because there's hardly any females about, bar probably this one. Which is which she look might look familiar to you. But we'll get to that later date. You shot though. Yeah, hello. Come on guys, you knew I was gonna be the false lamb. There's no way I'm getting around that. But yeah, women in this um, time period were held back quite a lot because, you know, they think, you know, a woman's place is, you know, in the kitchen kind of thing. So, yeah. And don't berate me in the comments about it, guys, please, because it's this is historic, not, you know, this is historical fact. I'm not making it all up. It's historical fact, so don't berate me, guys, please. Anyway, let's have a look around. 